Welcome everyone, my name is Sumer Ahmed. I work in technical marketing at Cloudflare on everything performance and security related. And today I'm gonna to talk about WAF's layered security architecture. So why is this important? Well, hackers are creative. There's a lot of different variety of attacks and a lot of creativity from remote code execution to SQL injection to authentication attacks and mage card attacks and so on. So it's really an arms race to secure applications. And what companies need to be able to do is they have to have the latest threat intelligence. They have to be able to leverage that to detect and mitigate risk and abuse. They have to have automatic protection against common attacks and zero data attacks. And very importantly, they have to have layered security detections and mitigations for the most robust protection. And that's exactly what Cloudflare provides. So with Cloudflare Connectivity Cloud, you have connect, protect, and build. This is application performance, application security, zero trust, network services, and even developer services, all on a single unified connectivity cloud platform. Now Cloudflare has layered security across products and also within each product itself. Now here I'm gonna talk about application services, focusing more so on application security, but you can really incorporate any service within this flow, such as network services and zero trust. And I'll talk about some of that as I walk through this diagram. So here on the left, a request comes in, Cloudflare DNS is being used and CDN for performance, L7 DDoS protection for DDoS protection for the websites, and WAF is being leveraged for protection against common attacks, common OWASP attacks, and zero days. Now, bot management is being used for protection against malicious bots. We have API shield for API security, rate limiting for protection against volumetric type attacks, and page shield for client side security, protection against things like MageGuard. Now, in this case, customer has an application that's deployed with Cloudflare Workers, our serverless platform, and they're also using application security capabilities for authentication like MTLS validation and JOT validation. Now, this application is talking to an LLM provider, okay? Now, to access this LLM provider and pull back information, they need to authenticate with an API key that's provided by the LLM provider. That API key is stored securely in Cloudflare Secret Store. So here, with a binding that the worker's script has with the secrets in Secret Store, it's able to make a fetch call get that API key, securely use that API key to talk to the LLM provider and pull back the respective information. And of course, all of this can be managed via dashboard, uh, UI, or API. Now, as I mentioned, I'm focused more on application services and application security here, but let's just say customer has another requirement where they have an application deployed either on-prem or in one of the cloud providers that their employees access. Well, I can use Cloudflare tunnels to make an outbound connection from that origin server to Cloudflare to ensure that requests are always coming through the Cloudflare network to reach that origin server. Now, using Cloudflare access, I can put in place additional policies, for example, making sure every employee connecting in authenticates through an identity provider like Okta, and I can even do other things like uh, device posture management, right? So just another example here of how I can easily incorporate other services like zero trust into this flow. And that's a great thing with Cloudflare. You can consolidate and put in place lots of different capabilities because all the requests are coming in. We're acting as a proxy and you can put all the policies in place and enforce everything in one UI. Now going to the WAF layered defense approach here. Now I'm focusing more specifically on a product within the application security portfolio. So we have protection for zero day and common attack vectors. For example, Cloudflare managed rules. Our security team is constantly updating rules, making sure they're automatically pushed down to all customers, protecting against the latest threats. We have OWASP core rule set, protecting against common attacks. We also give every request via machine learning predictive AI. We give every request an attack score. And that's basically signifying the likelihood that this request is an attack. We have uh, leaked credential checks, which is looking at requests to see if there's any stolen or leaked credentials that are used, and then customers can take uh, different types of actions on that. We look at uploads and do malicious content scanning, and then customers can take respective action on that if you know there's malicious content a user is trying to upload. 
we have sensitive data detection so on the response we're able to see hey is there any uh, attempt to exfiltrate sensitive data and then we have a variety of security rules and actions flexible response options advanced rate limiting capabilities and custom rule sets that customers can deploy now talking about WAF attack score a little bit more in detail as a request comes in here we have a machine learning model or basically predictive AI capability here where we're looking at all the attributes of the request looking at all the threat intelligence we have and we're giving every request what's known as a WAF attack score and then that attack score can be used in custom WAF policies for example I can say hey anything within this range of WAF attack score one uh, to 20 inclusive I know that's an attack let's go ahead and block that so for example here you can see a request came in looks like it has an attack score of one and we're even providing an attack score for different categories of attacks so you have cross-site scripting SQL injection remote code execution so by looking at this we can easily see hey this looks like it's a cross-site scripting attack right and then we provide uh, analytics around all of this so you can see how many requests coming in or attacks likely attack likely clean and clean another layer of security we provide here is with firewall for AI for securing LLMs or large language models this complements our WAF where we can automatically identify endpoints that belong to an LLM and we place an LLM label on it right now I can go to my WAF and I can simply create a policy that gets applied to all endpoints that has that LLM label. So here I'm creating a policy that's gonna, if PII information or personally identifiable information is detected, it's gonna go ahead and block that. And here's an example where if I ask the LLM for the weather, I get back a response. But if I try to get that sensitive information that I'm blocking, firewall for AI kicks in and blocks that request. In this demo, I already have a number of WAF policies in place, and we're going to see WAF layered security in action. So let's go ahead and jump to the demo. In this scenario, I intentionally have a vulnerable application deployed, and I'm going to demonstrate Cloudflare's WAF layered security protections. Here you can see we're in our Cloudflare security policies, and we're looking at custom rules. We have some rules here for different types of attacks, and these rules are leveraging our threat intelligence variable WAF attack score which gives the likelihood of an attack. Here you can see we have a rule for blocking requests where SQLI WAF attack score is less than or equal to 49, which is likely an attack. So this policy is specifically for SQL injection attacks. Now, if I go back and scroll down, you can see customers can also easily configure rate limiting rules here. The Cloudflare WAF also includes pre-configured managed rule sets for protection against zero days and common attacks. Now, here we have a web application with vulnerabilities that's protected by Cloudflare. And here an employee performs a string SQL injection attack to get back confidential information about the salaries of all employees. It's basic SQL knowledge, and because the application is concatenating a user-supplied string, into a query unsanitized, the hack should work. However, here you can see a Cloudflare security policy has blocked action. So let's go to our WAF and take a look at the details here. Now under events, I'm just gonna go ahead and filter on specific criteria and you can see how easy it is to filter. Now I know where this attack is coming from, so I'm just gonna go ahead and filter on IP address and then I can scroll down and I'll go ahead and expand the logs here or the top log and we can see here a custom rule has blocked the attack this custom rule uses Cloudflare threat intelligence and blocks anything with a low enough SQL live WAF attack score that is considered likely an attack now I'm gonna go back to the security policies and what we'll do here is We'll go ahead and disable this specific custom rule for SQL injection attacks. And then we'll go ahead and we'll try this attack again. Okay, so we've disabled that policy. We're gonna try the same attack again. And here you can see a Cloudflare security policy has still blocked the action. 
So going back to our WAF, if you take a look at events, we can see now instead Cloudflare managed rule has blocked the attack. So these are rules curated by Cloudflare that are continuously updated and automatically protecting customers from the latest threats. Now, if I go back to my security policies, I'm going to go ahead and also disable these managed rules here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and run this attack again. So if I run this attack again, you can see cloud for security policy is still blocking the action. So again, going back to our WAF, if you take a look at the events, we can see now instead Cloudflare OWASP core rules has blocked the attack. These are Cloudflare's implementation of the OWASP mod security core rule set, which mitigates common attacks. And you can see here a number of OWASP rule sets were hit. Each one of these adding to an overall anomaly score until this rule was triggered. So here you can see Cloudflare's layered defense really in play. Finally, let's also disable the OWASP rule set. So heading back over to my policies, I'm going to go ahead and disable this. We'll run this attack one more time. Now you can see with all the mitigations disabled, the hack is a success and all the salary information of all the employees is obtained. The next step here would be perhaps increasing my salary by doing something like query chaining. Now for a broader view, we head to security analytics. Okay. Here you can get both mitigated and unmitigated requests and details. Okay. You can see requests broken down by WAF attack score. You can see requests also broken down by bots and bot score and details around rate limiting. And using the AI assistant cloudy, let's go ahead and get some more details. Let's go ahead and compare mitigated attacks across three of our subdomains we're concerned with. Okay. And you can see, we get those details back fairly quickly. And of course, on the top here, we provide critical insights such as unmitigated threats scored as attack. So users can jump right to what matters. I hope you've enjoyed this session and found it insightful. If you're ready to learn more on Cloudflare RAF, talk to our team to start an architecture workshop, proof of concept trial, and even do a business value assessment.